Welcome! I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Today I'm going to show you how to make this bourbon chocolate pecan pie. And if you've never had a bourbon chocolate pecan pie, you're in for a real treat. Now to get this together, you're going to need a 9 inch unbaked pie crust. And if you don't know how to make homemade pie crust, check out my YouTube link below on how to make the perfect homemade pie crust. I have one half cup of sugar, white sugar, and then I have one half cup of brown sugar. This is a packed light brown sugar. I have three fourths of a cup of dark corn syrup, one fourth of a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Make sure you use pure vanilla. I've got two ounces of unsweetened chocolate here. I've got one fourth of a cup of butter, one and one half cup of pecans that are chopped, three eggs, and of course, the three tablespoons of bourbon. I'm using a Buffalo Trace bourbon for this recipe. And remember, when alcohol is heated at 170 degrees Fahrenheit, all the alcohol burns off in it. So you're not going to have alcohol in your pie because it's going to bake at a temperature of 350 degrees in the oven for about 40 minutes. First, we're going to add the dark chocolate here into the butter and we're going to melt this on low over here on the oven top. Now, if you want to put it in the microwave, you can do that too. I'm adding my three lightly beaten eggs right here into a large mixing bowl. I'm going to add the half teaspoon of pure vanilla. I'm just eyeballing it. I'm adding the sugar, the white and the dark, along with the dark corn syrup. And we're going to add our good old Kentucky bourbon. See if I can get this off. Okay, I had to wrap this off and look at here. There's a little cork at the top of this good old Kentucky bourbon we're adding to our bourbon chocolate pecan pie. I thought that was really cool. Oh my goodness, it's powerful. Mm-hmm. But remember that alcohol bakes out, so it will not have any alcohol in it once this pecan pie finishes baking. And now we're going to give this a nice little whisking. And just like that. Now we're going to add the melted butter and the unsweetened chocolate. In it goes. Oh my goodness, make sure you get it all out. You want all that chocolate and butter in your, your pie. And don't forget to add the salt. I almost forgot it. And now we're going to whisk this around till it's really nice and well incorporated. And let me tell you, if you could be in my kitchen right now and smell all these wonderful, fabulous flavors of the sugar and the chocolate and the butter, oh, your mouth would be watering. Now we're going to take a baking pan. We're going to add the pie crust right here on the baking pan. That way you can transport this pie from the countertop to the oven a lot easier and it makes it a lot more sturdier. Now add your pecans in the bottom of your unbaked crust. Give it a jiggle so you can get it even. Okay, here's your pie mixture. Just want to whip it around there and we're going to slowly pour it over your pecans. Now they're going to rise to the top here of your pie. Make sure you get it all in there. Perfect. Now this goes into a 350 degree preheated oven for the next 45 minutes and off it goes. Just got my pie out of the oven and I'm going to take it off the cookie tray and as you can see it's puffed around the edges right here which that's what we're wanting because when it cools it's going to sink down and if you give it a little bit of a shake, it wiggles. So you know it's completed baking. I'm gonna let it cool down for the next two hours before cutting into it and it smells so yummy. Here's a slice of that pie. Look how beautiful that turned out. Now, gotta give it a try. Ooh, you've got that crunchiness on the top from those pecans. You got that rich creaminess in the center of the pie. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. The crunch of that pecans. Mmm. That chocolate with the sweetness of the 
corn syrup and the two different sugars and that bourbon it makes this one fantastic pie mm. I don't think you'll be disappointed with this bourbon chocolate pecan pie thanks for watching y'all I'm Dorana with Foods 101 and I'll catch you next time